All right, we're gonna be talking about frankincense today. 100% right there. Frankincense, the word incense is in that word frankincense. Incense is an aromic matter, usually derived from plants, that it will give off a fragrant smell when it is ignited or burned. The word incense is a Latin word that means to burn. Like incense, incinerate, sort of like that. Incense was a highly prized commodity back in the ancient times that was a true gift to receive. The most famous story about incense is with the three wise men and it's two out of the three gifts to baby Jesus. Gold, every kid knows gold is valuable. And those other two that kind of stuck out is frankincense and myrrh, both incense. I picked up a couple YouTube stories about the three wise men and they were pretty fascinating. I've also heard them called the three kings. They look vastly different all dressed in these sweet looking robes and different, I think they all had beards. They traveled a long ways and they got right to Jesus's crib like the night he was born as far as I can remember it. That's pretty spectacular in itself. I think they were riding like camelback and they came a long ways. It is a strange story. And if you ever see like a Christmas play, you'll always see the three wise men off to the side I mean, what more would validate you than having like kings just come and like shower you with really expensive gifts? Supposedly, the incense all has a certain type of, there's like a mystique and mystique and allure that goes with frankincense and myrrh and I, I'm, there's probably better people to talk about it. I'm trying to keep this one short, but they were also called, just watching these videos, the three magi which means like mystical, magical people. So it's really strange. And supposedly, incense sort of is an item you might bring in when you are performing some sort of a ritual, some sort of a religious rite. I got an airplane sound up here. This is the stuff we get being outside. Where does it come from? So incense, well, this one came from Meyer. <laughs> Incense comes from the tree called the comes from the tree called the Boswellia. Boswellia, the Boswellia tree. It's this gnarly, sort of like my beard today. This gnarly, twisted tree that grows in the desert. And the article I read said it sort of looks like a desert bonsai. Bonsai, Daniel's son. You got the tree. It's not the leaves, it's not the bark, like other things we might have talked about. You would, if you cut the tree, it kind of flows. It's the sap from inside. It oozes out like the slime from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Sort of like if you're ever cutting pine, you'll just see it collect. I've got some pine around here, and then after it kind of like drips, it'll form this hard, um, after a while, it actually will get real hard where you can literally chip it and it looks like amber. They call that a resin. That would be the part you would burn. You can also get it in an oil, which is like just as cool. They tap these trees a couple times a year, sort of like you might tap a tree for maple syrup. So maple syrup, I know it's really like watery until you condense it all down and then you get this nice thick, oozy type drip on your pancake. So frankincense from different species of tree, there's like five main ones in different locations, will differ vastly in both quality and chemistry and aroma. There's a sultan that keeps this one highly prized one all to himself. Supposedly when you tap the tree, the highest quality resin is a clear silver to like a greenish tint. And then your more common incense is like a yellowish brown or a brownish yellow. The vast majority of incense comes from India, surprise, and the Horn of Africa. I've got a little bottle here. Now what I saw on Instagram, supposedly incense has all these amazing benefits. It said it'll make you more outgoing, which is like, how does it do that? 
<laughs> um, we just talked about how valuable this is. I got this from my local grocery store for $4.99 for 100% uh, oil, um, half an ounce. So this is what she did on the video the other day. Let me, yeah, I better not have my hat involved. Try, put a couple drops. First, you want to give it a little shake. Put a couple drops on her hands. This is one of those oil cellars. Not much different than a beard cellar. This stuff is clear, by the way. Put it on your hands like this, and then just inhales it. Gets it on your face too. Let's try it. Woo! 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 <laughs> what did I say it smelled like? I smelled it a few days ago. And for the first time, and I said it smelled like citrus. I said it smelled like sort of like an orange, kind of like an orange peel, sort of like a lemon. I was getting like citrusy stuff. Then I opened it yesterday and I was like, no, I'm not getting citrus stuff. I'm getting pine. I put it on my hands. I just love smelling it. I put it on my hands and I was getting like a pine smell. Um, and I'm not too much of a fan of pine. Oh, well, I should really test it between pine. I mean, sometimes you like, it's like a fish story. You think you, you know, you're telling the accurate thing and then you're like looking at the fish, you're like, it's way smaller. Anyways, I was getting a pine smell, but as it kind of the day went on and like half an hour to an hour later, I was like, whoa, there it is, there it is that. How to describe it, I wouldn't call it, it's like almost like a wood smell. Obviously it's from a tree, but it's that I think you're getting that. Um, I don't know if they cut it with other, if it's like frankincense and myrrh, but my favorite part of going to church was when the priest, because normally the priest would just kind of hang out back. We have a Catholic church. He doesn't like mingle. There's no like stomping of feet. There's no like hallelujah in the, in the pews. It's pretty like kneel, sing, stand, kneel, sing, stand. And the priest just does his thing way, way, way in the pedestal. But like every now and then, he would have his burning, I mean, this was the funnest part. He would have smoke billowing out of his gold incense burner, I guess. It was all in swinging from a chain and walk up and down the aisles and you would get a good whiff of it. I mean, that's when it was like, you're not just seeing something, but you're like, you're, you're it's a whole new sense coming in and uh, just to see like smoke inside of a of a building it was just it, i just always remember that that was one of my favorite parts what was i trying to get with that is um when this stuff was wearing on throughout the day i could get that um i could get that experience that same smell from the church incense so yeah it's good stuff um, I'm gonna go check it out online see what they say it's kind of hard to describe sometimes when like the smell is like the thing like what is an orange smell like an orange smells like an orange you might say like this food smells like an orange but like oranges they just smell like oranges what does frankincense smell like well you could always find does it smell like a rich a woody a spicy I'll go take a look and I'll just tack it on to the end of this and see if other people are sort of feeling what I'm feeling. That one right, I looked it up. One, my, one book said fresh and resinous. That, I mean, those descriptions don't help at all. Just Googling it, the first paragraph that comes up on Google said a, it said a woodsy smell with a hint of lemon. So yeah, you know, like pine needles to me, woodsy smell. And the first thing I ever smelled was citrus, so. All right, guys, have a good one and uh, keep learning. Incense was a highly vi- That's that weird sound. Incense, it sounds like from Psycho or uh, Chainsaw. It sounds like from Chainsaw Massacre.